Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habatu billah qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem wa ta'awun Allah bira wa taqwa wa la ta'awun ala ithmi wa udwan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem has ordered us with what we would have what we must conclude is the asl is the foundation of how the mu'min how the mu'mineen are supposed to see and view and work with each other and that is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa and cooperate all of you in righteousness and piety and then he makes nahi subhana wa la ta'awun ala ithmi wa udwan and do not cooperate in sinfulness wa enmity And a ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa means that we, as believers, our love for one another is strengthened because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to love one another and to cooperate with one another and to assist and support one another. That's the affair of the mu'min. And when we reflect on this command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see that while the mu'min is cooperating in righteousness and piety, the ahl bidah the hizbiyin or hizbiyun, those people who are broken into sects and groups, they ta'awun ala ithmi wa'udwan. They cooperate often based upon sinfulness or bid'ah and udwan. Udwan and enmity towards who? Towards ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. And that is because they take a different itqad, a different aqidah or creed from ahl sunnah. And that's because they develop principles and usul, foundation, foundational principles regarding the religion based upon other than what Ahl Sunnah was commanded to follow and other than what Ahl Sunnah follows. And so Ahl Sunnah, in practicing that ayat, they assist one another in worldly matters and in da'wil Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and calling to good and forbidding the evil and calling to sunnah and forbidding bid'ah calling to the creed of the salaf, the minhaj, the methodology of the salaf, the madhab of the salaf or ahl bid'ah they call to uniting upon what opposes the belief of Ahl Sunnah or the belief system of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah so therefore you'll find those who differ with Ahl Sunnah calling to the negation of the divine sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uniting upon that so they ta'awun ala ithmi ala sinfulness Word one, meaning they make takfir or they make tibdir of Ahl Sunnah. Because, for example, when Ahl Sunnah states and holds as a qa'idah, Rahman ala ars istawa, that the most merciful rose above his throne, Ahl Sunnah affirms this attribute of rising above the throne to 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms it about himself. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed it. So Ahl Sunnah affirms it. Ahl Bid'ah will negate that or make ta'wil of that divine characteristic of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they'll unite upon it saying that this is the Ashari uh, uh, creed or this is the creed of Abu Mansur al-Maturidi so they unite upon that and even give themselves names other than Ahl Sunnah or they consider that their newly invented names Ashari, Sufi, Maturidi Diobandi, as if those names belong to Ahl Sunnah, but in fact they don't. And so they unite, they ta'awan, ala sinfulness and bid'ah. And they make adawa, meaning enmity, towards Ahl Sunnah. And so they claim that the Salafi aqidah and minhaj is false, or that it's distorted, or that it's dhahiri or that it is some other name in which they oppose. And so we see the difference in tatbiq of this ayat bayna a sunni, a sunni, a salafi, and a muqtadi'ah. And that this is just one issue from amongst the many. And that's why practicing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their proper understanding and holistically according to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the method of the salaf is the asal and it's what we're commanded to do. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those bless us to be of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and bless us to be of the inhabitants of Jannah Ameen Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam